Hanoi, capital of Vietnam, is one of the world's youngest and most dynamic cities, and currently transforming and advancing into the future. However, the city of 8.3 million people is plunged by traffic congestion during rush hour due to the large number of motorbikes and traditional inland vehicles. To support Vietnam's advancement into a global level, transport-oriented developments were created. As a catalyst of urban development, Vietnam's government built its first metro system in the capital. Now, Hanoian commuters are excited, even thrilled, at the prospect of commuting without draining and being stuck in traffic jams. As Cat Lin, Ha Dong Metro Line in capital, began commercial operation on Saturday morning, 10 years after its construction began. For many, Vietnam's first metro line offers faster, more convenient, and less harmful to their health on daily commutes. The all-elevated 13.1 km line, consisting of 12 stations, connecting the districts of Dong Da, Tan Zan and Ha Dong. This electrified double-track line, using 1,435 mm standard gauge with maximum speed of 80 km per hour. This line is constructed using 77% official development assistance from China with a total investment of $868 million. The China Railway 6th Group is the engineering, procurement, and construction contractor for the project, and the Ministry of Transport of Vietnam is the project owner. A full trip on the 13-kilometer elevated track will take 23 minutes after stopping at all 12 stations. After being free for the first 15 days, it will cost 8,000 to 15,000 dong or 35 to 65 cents US dollar for a ticket. In the first week, the service will be from 5.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day with a train every 15 minutes. The frequency will be increased from the second week with a train leaving every 10 minutes. After six months, the service will be extended to 10.30 p.m., and there will be a train every six minutes during rush hour. Built by China Railway 6th Group Company Limited, the project took 10 years to complete with hurdles and conflicts delaying the work several times. The construction was started on 10 October 2011 and was initially targeted to begin operations in 2016. In 2016, it was announced that the completion date was to be pushed back to early 2018. However, due to funding and land acquisition issues, construction wasn't completed until September 2018. Following completion, the pilot run and testing was conducted from September to December 2018. Line 2A was scheduled to commence operations in February 2019, before the holidays of Lunar New Year, but was postponed for the sixth time as some station construction works remained incomplete. On 30 April 2019, a representative from the Railway Project Management Board informed the press that the line was not yet operational. The reason stated being that the system had not yet been issued with a safety certificate and it had not been accepted by the State Acceptance Council. By the deadline of 30 April 2019, the general Chinese contractor had not completed some stations, depot areas, escalator routes for stations, drainage connections for Ring Road Station 3, landscaping, trees, electricity and ticketing systems. After multiple delays, the trial run was restarted on 28 October 2019, to last for 20 days. In December 2020, Line 2A has begun undergoing a full-scale test run in order to check its safety before it can be approved for commercial service. Hanoi Metro System will eventually consist of eight lines with a total length of 318 kilometers, and is initially expected to carry 200,000 passengers per day. <laughs>